Hi, my name is Tom Baldwin, and I live in Akron, Ohio. The artwork you're looking at, The Grief of Gaia, is probably one of the most unusual projects that I've ever attempted. The news reported that the government had just removed better than half of two national parks in Utah for the purpose of using the land for energy and mineral extraction. Having seen this majestic, pristine land firsthand, I was angered by what I had heard. I have never created artwork from a negative or unpleasant perspective before, but the story was such a serious topic to me, I just felt compelled to create something. The planning for this piece was nothing more than a flash of an idea. I knew I was going to use a bird of prey for the subject of the metaphor to represent the natural world, and I knew that I wanted to use rust on this strong and powerful hawk to represent the sad message of ruin and decay. Gaia, being the goddess of the earth, was a natural choice of someone who would be grieved by the misuse of our public lands. So, hence the title. As I was carving, I decided to make the hawk look like plated steel, a very thick and strong look. Once the hawk was carved, I realized that it needed to show more than just a rusty surface. That Rust holes were needed to show the gaping and aging destruction. This required me now to hollow out the hawk. So I cut the body in half and began to remove the inside wood like I was scooping out a melon. After hollowing, I glued the pieces of the hawk together, and once it was all in one piece, I slowly, and I mean slowly, started to make decisions about size and location of the rust cavities. Inasmuch as I wanted the hawk to look centuries old, I decided to make the base more contemporary looking to give the piece a modern looking presentation. Once it was carved, I painted the rust and welding elements that were applied through the piece with an acrylic medium. At this point, I noticed that it was lacking a reference to the natural world in current survival terms. I came onto the idea of using a realistic feather to represent the remaining natural world. After I carved and painted the feather, I placed it in various positions in the middle of the base, and I decided to stand up and get a dip perspective on placement, and I bumped the table, and the feather fell off to the bottom of the base, as you see it on the artwork right now. That's the moment I knew this piece was finished.